What up, y'all? Welcome to, uh, well, some more Standard, because I'm having fun brewing Standard for the first time in a long time, so, uh, today I want to play some Nicol Bolas. I want to play, I want to play some Grixis. Two Ashiogs. Two sublime epiphanies. Four Croxa. That guy's just good. Probably four Thought Erasure. That card is also good. I haven't ever played standard. I tend to like mid-range and legacy. Any suggestions? Um... Sword of Corp, it's hard to say now because standards still kind of in flux since the uh, since the recent bannings. <laughs> it's kind of funny that there are more bannings in a format like standard uh, than there are in a format like Legacy. I was definitely considering Thief of Sanity. Probably Heartless. You know, I see all these decks running Eliminate. And I think in standard, like, isn't Heartless Act just better? Like, there's no Okos. What are your other three mana Planeswalkers? There's no Teferi. So, like, the only other Planeswalker you care about in standard is, like, Narset. And I don't think you care enough about Narset to, like, just fix my hair a little bit. Um, to, like, lose the versatility of using Heartless Act on, like, what about Nissa? You can't kill Nissa with a, an Eliminate. Like, Heartless Act, the number of creatures that I get counters on them is, like, zero. Like, this lets you kill tons and tons of things that you can't kill with, uh, with Eliminate. I guess Eliminate kills the creatures that Nissa makes. But I guess if you're removing three counters from a land, it dies anyway, right? Because it's still zero, zero. So I, this still does a job. But, I mean, this kills Questing Beast. It kills Elder Gargarop. What kind of what kind of gain life do I have options to? Do I have that access? Exile a card in a graveyard who was a creature gained three life. I kind of like cling to dusk here. Oh, murderous rider, yeah, that's a good dude. Man, we're already at forty nine cards. Good lord. Um. Oh, I guess we want to go four of those guys. Four of those guys. Four of those guys. Okay, I really just want a regular basic mountain. Um, what about temples? Oh, dang, dude! I snuck a I snuck a pack of fruit snacks and I forgot about it, so now I get to eat them. Man, bonus! I like Ugin a lot, actually. What else do I like? <laughs> Dread Horde Invasion. I think Big Ugin's a little too much. We don't have any, like, signets or anything. Yeah. 
It is Bone Crusher. The problem is when we have like seven creatures in the deck, Lizov is not very good with anything else. Unless we just want a generic 1-3. Let's just look through these cards. See if we find anything worth... Uh... Well, I'm definitely putting Aether Gust in the sideboard. I'd like to have more than just Murderous Rider to deal with, like a Nyssa. Yeah, but you have Thought Erasure. You can erase their thoughts. I wonder if Frantic Inventory has a four of is good. Second when you draw two, third when you draw three. It's pretty good. But Devil's actually pretty decent. I, I mean, I kind of want a card that, like, prevents it from coming into play. You know, like, uh, what are those things called? Counterspells, you know? What are counterspell? Thank you. Brazen Borrowed does seem decent. Cool, and thank you for the sub. Really appreciate it, buddy. Welcome, welcome. I mean, we'll get to Brazen Borrowed. I don't have to search for it. It'll be coming right up in the next page or so. Presumably. What's a Therenity? I feel like a Therenity is a real word. Uh, it is a Lament. So this is Lament Singer. Interesting. A brooding Therenity to urban desolation. Is the uh, use it in a sentence. A brooding Lament to urban desolation. You guys learned something here today. Two negates where? In the in the what? Seems weird. Uh Elder Spell is the one that destroys planeswalkers. I feel like that's a little too narrow right now. I don't think there's that many planeswalkers in standard. I do think about like Ritual of Soot or Drown in Sorrow for the sideboard. Uh, let's get some mystical disputes up here as well. <laughs> Side deck. <laughs> God damn it, Archai. God damn it. God, we're still in the blue. Good grief. Look how many capture spheres there are. Capture sphere, capture sphere capture sphere and they all have different no two of them have different arts I guess I don't hate one god eternal kefnet but I just feel like we're not doing a ton with it you know what I mean like we don't have a ton of things we can play like thought erasure heartless act I don't think you can cast whenever you're going instant or sorcery you're not revealing an instant or sorcery with these you're revealing a creature so Oh man, I'm gonna put not crafted and I'm gonna really regret it because it always starts over whenever you do stuff like that. Put one Castle Vantress in. I don't want two because definitely don't want to maximize the number of cards that are coming into play on uh, tapped or other. <sighs> Trying to get through these. Let's put two negates in the sideboard for now. We'll see if that uh, either makes its way to the main deck or gets adjusted what kind of control magics are in standard right now like not, not, not very good right there's the one that's like you control a tapped creature or something or like cast this only on a tapped creature you can't control a tapped creature because otherwise when it untaps you'd lose control of it What do you think about that? Uh, I don't love it because mission briefing is not very good outside of that, unfortunately. I do love your ingenuity, though. Guys, there's so many cards right now. Hold on. 
Let's do this. Oh my fucking god, it restarted again. And there's no way to like... Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm exhausted. This is exhausting. Every time you move anything, it just it just restarts. What about some of the sages? The sagas? <laughs> the sages? Boseju? So one thing to keep in mind is that we're pretty much a tap out deck. There's not a ton. Like we want to go like turn three guy, turn five planeswalker, turn six planeswalker, turn four, turn two, like make them discard a thing. So. I wonder if Sphinx of Foresight's just decent as like a, just a, as a beater. I like Teferi or uh, Thassa rather, but. She's not super exciting is the problem. And, like, she's not great in this deck, obviously. That's the real problem. Dude, I've had the, the Magic Client was up all day today. And uh, it disconnected me, so I wasn't, like, on. But, like, it was still in the background and the birds were still chirping. Like, you could still hear, like, the, the ambient sound effects. And I just kind of left it up because it was really nice. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, these are... This is relaxing. We may need some main deck board wipes. Maybe... Sh actually, Shark Typhoon seems great. We just have to play Shark Typhoon, right? It's kind of like a must-have. We haven't even gotten to the black cards yet, dude. Yeah, Mass Manip's kind of meh. More like meh Manip. <laughs> Listen to your heart. Nothing else you can do. Do, 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 do. Uh, Epic Downfall, man. Man, remember when Epic Downfall was a card and then they replaced it with Eliminate and you're like, oh, that's much better. Yeah, Noxious Grasp is good. We're getting there. We're getting there, buddy. Slow down. Hold your jets. Cool your horses. There it is. Just listen to your heart, guys. <laughs> Cry the Carnarium. That feels like a card we want. And we could, if we like play Ritual of Soot or something, we probably want to take out Thief of Sanity. Just because, like, what does that do? Remember creature you control with death touch attacks, so this is going to be the only one. So basically when it attacks, it's a 2-4 attacker and you gain a life. But then it just kills planeswalkers too. That's not bad. I don't think it's great, but it's not bad. I think we can do better than Grasp. If you're referring to Grasp and darkness, darkness. I would definitely just increase number of Heartless Axe and Murderous Riders if that were the case. You know, the funny thing is you can actually op Nixless's Cruelty like uh, one of the Titans while their abilities on the stack. Uh, and it won't kill them. <laughs> but since you're sacrificing them, if that creature would die this turn, exile it instead. So, it's actually a pretty interesting way to get rid of a Titan. God, there's so many cards. We are uh, we're getting a crash course in, in Standard right now by looking at all these 
cards together. Oh, actually, Extinction Event is interesting. I could see two Extinction Events in the main deck. That could be our deck. Because then we like we can we can name even, and it gets rid of things like Paradise Druid, Questing Beast, it gets rid of all the Nissa tokens, but that still lets us keep like Murderous Rider, Thief of Sanity, Brazen Bar if they're on the board. Oh, Dragonfire Exiles 2. Okay, so I got in a conversation. I got in a conversation with Mike yesterday about Grave Digger. I'm pretty sure this card should be called Grave Robber because a Grave Digger is someone who digs a grave to put a body in. Like, if you hire a Grave Digger in real life, they're not digging up a corpse for you. <laughs> so, like... Uh... Like, I feel like this is actually... I feel like this has been poorly named throughout Magic's history. No grave digger worth their money is going to be pulling a body out of a grave. That's just not what that job requirement is. Yeah, but we don't have enough creatures for Lazav. Lazav is just terrible if you don't draw anything else. Plus, I can't go, like, turn two Lazav, turn three Thief of Sanity, and then attack with Lazav because I don't have the mana for it, so I'd have to do it on turn four. And no one wants that. I don't know. It just doesn't... It seems too cute. Um, do you have Ritual of Slip in the sideboard? That's 15 out of 15, actually. We also have Cry, so I think that's actually pretty okay. But we haven't even gotten to red yet, so let's just make sure we're not missing any, like, crucial components. I really like Cavalier of Night, but... Without having creatures to sacrifice effectively, I don't think it's very good. Oh, I kind of like Massacre Girl, actually. There's either Gust Negate Grass, Mystical Dispute. Interesting. God, I really wish there was like effective ramp in the format, like just like a Signet or something. I mean, I wish, Chr I wish Chromatic Lantern was um, Coalition Relic. <laughs> Massacre Girl might be neat against certain matchups, but it does imp it does require you to get to turn um, six. <laughs> Liliana's really good, too. Oh, Mostly Drunken Magic Nerd. Thanks for the raid, buddy. Really appreciate it, my dudes. He does cost thousands of mana. Like, for for my money, I'm pretty sure most of the time, like, Ugin or Liliana are going to be better. Maybe we want one of each. We'll see. I actually like Solemn Simulacrum a lot. Wow. How do I get back there? There's no way to get back there, right? I just have to go by hand. I mean, now we're at 64. Wow, Solemn seems great. Yeah, Palladium Mirror is pretty, pretty rough. I was thinking of unselect. Well, I mean, we're not done with black yet. And plus, if you unselect black and blue, then the gold cards are all weird. So, I don't know. We got back. We're fine. Uh, you don't like this art cover? <laughs> it's pretty fucking terrible. Oh, I guess we were. I guess we were done with black. Finale was like the last black card. Dang it, Shield Garner. All right, uh, dragon fire. Listen to your heart. Nothing else you can do. Mm -hmm. 
Lava Coil's a D, so I don't think it's better than Heartless Act. Yeah, Scorching Dragonfire is actually kind of cool tech against the, uh, the Titans. And this is also 24 lands. I feel like I want to cut, like, five cards. God, do I just cut Sublime Epiphany? I don't want to. It's so good. I mean, it's pretty good. I'm tempted to cut Thief. Just make it a Yorion deck. Yorion does nothing except for, like, Solemn Simulacrum. Or Croxa, but then, like, you're just killing your own Croxa anyway, so. Is it is it weird that I don't feel like any of these red cards are going to do anything? I feel like these red cards just have such a dis like a, such a specific personality that like there's nothing that I'm gonna like want to put in the deck. Yeah, actually, if we cut Shark Typhoon, this is actually pretty pretty good. I think Shark Typhoon is still great without without Teferi. I don't I, I don't think Teferi is necessarily making it good. Let's put some Rekindling Phoenix in the deck. That card's not legal, stupid. Oh no. I don't know where you're going. And I don't know why. Listen to your heart. Halo Cub. Thank you for the reset, buddy. 14 months. I appreciate you. Bone Daddy is a decent red card. I agree with you. I agree with you about that. I think this is all right, though. I like the way this is looking so far. We're very minimal red. Let's add one Temple of Malice from Theros. Uh, one Temple of Deceit. The Temple of Deceit flows down. The only oh Temple of Epiphany, you're gonna put a an M twenty one in here. Well, that makes sense because that's the only set it was in. So okay, okay. How many lands is this? Twenty five lands. Oh, great. That's actually that's actually exactly what I want. Yeah, uh, but Solemn also helps us smooth our mana for this. It guarantees a fifth land. I don't know. We can get, take one, put one Bone Crusher in. One, two, three, four, five. Or there's got to be something better, right? Let's see what we got for gold cards. There's got to be some sweet gold cards, right? Oh, we can play lockets, guys. Lockets. This is tempting. This is real tempting. There's no Grixis Triumph, unfortunately. So we're already... Does Heartless Act work with the uninvoked calls? <laughs> you are thinking of Heartless Summoning, it's true. Alright, now we're going to check out Blue Black. So now he's doing 311. Wow. Like, I actually feel like Tyrant Scorn is better than Eliminate most of the time in a blue lactic. Ooh, what about one Atris? I kind of like two Atris, to be honest with you. Actually, one extra should be fine for now. All right, let's try it like this. I like the way this looks. Actually, one and one. Let's do one and one. Oh, I like that. I like that. Oh, do we not? Oh, dang it. M21... 
I could also see replacing um, Brazen Bar with Bone Crusher. I think both are pretty good. Thank you. Daniel Talk Ty with the gift. Oh, gifted sub by Garrett. Thank you, buddy. Really appreciate it. Let's play first. Um, I'll keep it. Two drop, three drop, three drop. Sure. No, got to got to find some lands. Brine elemental nickel bolus sticks. You can call it pickle bolus. Wild. Um. I have a feeling they're gonna play. Oh, well then. All right then. Or I might. And supporting handsome front Dana, you you stop it. You get out of here. I wonder if they can counter my. They're gonna mystic dispute this guy. It's too good to be true. Oh, that's not a mystic dispute at all. That card sucks. She's got the look. What kind of word was in the brown eyed girl turned blue? Na 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 na. She's got the look. Give me that hit. Give me them. We're playing against a greasy weenie. Oh, lofty denial. Counter target spell unless it's control pays one. In fact, you control control flying. Oh, baby, we do. And they're stamped. Oh, baby. That's a good one. Okay. Mm, but okay. Oh, man. You got me. So we can kill this and then just hold back. Or we can just draw a card. Drawing a card feels safer and I don't really care about this guy, so. I also want to make sure I can hit lands. Because next turn, keeping up Sublime Epiphany seems pretty decent. No attacks. I like to imagine every time you resolve a bolus, an angel gets his wings. Is that... that's... you know what? I don't think you understand the... Uh, I don't think you understand the characterization of Mickle Bolus. Let's draw Eat to Extinction. Okay, so we can go... Wintergrave Thought Erasure. She's got the look. Um, like, yeah, sure, let's do that. Opt. So, how many lands do you have? Three lands? I don't care about that. Um,. Unsummon is a card we care about because it kills a nickel bolus. So I'm gonna put that in the graveyard because we have two lands in hand. Do you like soul coughing? Um, I I mean I don't I don't dislike them, but it's not like I've never actually sat down and been like, I'm gonna put on some soul coughing right now.
Top decking on summon seems pretty good. Well, what can you do? Got four cards in the graveyard, huh? That's fascinating. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we can go Thief of Sanity, Murderous Rider. So another hand is two cards they can't cast. They can't cast this next turn. I don't care about either of these. They're drawing rewind. So yeah, it's probably best to just play this and Thief of Sanity here. They didn't do anything. I guess they're just living that rewind dream. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, this is actually pretty good. Let's bounce this guy. Let's see if you want to rewind here. Oh, yeah. Counter spell. Return a permanent, create a token, and draw a card. Um, target an online permanent. Target a creature you control, probably Thief of Sanity. Target a player. Oh, that's elegant. Yep, and they're dead. <laughs> I too have Sublime Epiphany. I too. Uh, I think. Cry and Massacre, Massacre Girl are very good. Eat seems good. We saw Brazen Barber, Cloudkin, and Spectre, all of which cost one. Take out Brazen Barber. I think Sublime Epiphany is actually a little slow against them. Let's bring in Massacre Arm. Mystical Disputes. I like Cry, but I think this is actually probably fine. I would have been happy if someone bounced my card. That yeah, I know. I just bounced your Cloudkins here. I feel like you should be more appreciative. I don't think this hand is gonna gonna do it. Oh my god, it is kind of a blue casualties of war. That's hilarious. Oh, this hand's good. Um, I kind of just want to ship a land, to be honest. Because, I mean, it lets us play Croxa, and if we draw anything, it lets us play Thief. Yeah, I'm going to live the. I'm going to do it. We're on the draw, so we have like three turns to hit a land. Oh, I think Hunter's having a little dream. Okay. Hold on, Let's see if he's dreaming. We did not hit a land. That's super awkward. I mean, we took a risk. We got punished for it. Hold on, watch Hunter. Sure, that's a cantrip. I think he's done. Um. Yeah, countering Croxa there is pretty funny because, like, isn't that the same as just discarding the card? Boop. 
Come on, land. Don't be a temple, daddy needs a land. Pay to life and put a thief in the play. That just doesn't do anything. Guess I still get to miss you. It's true. All right. You got it. If we get a land, we can go Crux and kill this guy. Seems good. Um. No, Crux. Countering Crux doesn't gain you three health unless you discard a land. But, like, you discarded a Lofty Denial. Which isn't that the same as just discarding it like oh wow spectral sailor you can put a rewind on top okie dokie I wish I had another land. Do, do, do. Uh, of course it is. It's real good. Yeah, that's real good. Um, Christ just says uh, they discard a card if they don't discard a non land. If they didn't discard a non land card. Might as, well, might as well counter it, right? Hmm. So this is going to take three. So we go to four. We take one. I mean, the problem is that they're just drawing a card every time they cast a rewind, which is making a rewind like Cryptic Command. Seven cards in the graveyard. Brazen Bar with the wrong guy. Sure. So we're dead. <laughs> should have waited, I guess. Like, yeah, that was our fault. We should have waited until the end of the turn. We're like during their upkeep, but like the problem is if it's not Brazen Bar, if it's a, if it's a counter spell, they get to keep their guy. So. Let's actually take out the Ugans for duress. Ah, uh, that's a keeper. Bottom you because we need third land. Yep. 
I can see cutting one Croxa. Oh, that was... That was pleasant. Opt... Lofty Mass Manip Rewind. Huh. Well, we want to play... Yeah, let's get Lofty Denial out of here. We have no creatures, so we'll just play that tapped. This should resolve next turn. Theoretically. Okay, that's not bad. We're definitely on the offense here now. Unless they haven't top deck either Brazen Bar or Unsummon. Okay. Actually, this is probably what we want to do. This is just better use of mana here. Seems good. Come on, counterspell. That's a, that's a pretty good one. Um... Raisin is actually pretty good too. I only have four mana. I think it's actually rewind. Because we can actually cast the rewind, which is kind of a big deal. Uh, sure. Kerwood, have a good night, buddy. Yep. Lobster. Do you rewind it? Well, that's pretty solid. Listen to you. Oh, another Sublime Epiphany? Sounds good. Lands are cool. We have two counters. We have one counter spell that we can count. Well, two counter spells. I kind of just want to hit a land here, but I think the odds are. Yeah, we'll just play this. If they counter it, then they can't actually cast. Uh... Yeah, that's fine. 
Ooh, resolved. We have 25 lands. I think we're all right in land count. Oh boy, that's interesting. Is a blood crypt? I, yeah, that's the right choice. It wasn't an island which we wanted, but that's okay. I mean, next time we get to untap with the dispute and rewind up, which is pretty nice. And three two attacker, so. Wait, do they not have Sublime Epiphany? Would we know about that? No, they put it on top and we milled them. Oh, so we actually took that, as far as I could tell. Yeah, that's fine. I will also attack and trade with both of these if you want. I guess they do not want. Jeez, where's the, the lands I draw naturally? So we can go one, two, three. We can keep up one, two, three, four, five, six. Black, blue, thief. Oh, they didn't even try to rewind it. Fascinating. Okie dokie. Now I have double dispute up. Jeez. Seems good. I'm no expert, but yeah, that's fine. Everyone land. You tap gets you farther away from God's light. Okie dokie. Um, hmm. We can get her wine. We dispute. We can't do anything about that. Maybe just attack here. I'm fine with this block, and you take three. think I care about that certainly not enough to use two mystical disputes on it mark I have no idea what you're saying right now none of that made any sense to me okay so you're at five? One, two, three, four. God, 
I love it when they don't keep my double blue up. Red, black, red, black. Hmm. Well, you got me there. Sounds good. So we're taking six here, unless you draw a third frantic inventory. Interesting. Okay. Did they forget this guy is Menace? I think they did. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Now it doesn't matter what they do because they have three mana. So they're basically dead here. So that's pretty cool. Yep, nice. Thanks for the rewind, nerd. I mean, I like the deck. I almost feel like we do want a 26 mana, but we don't have a ton of card draw, so it's not like we're cycling through our deck to... I think Atris is sweet, because it just won us that game. I keep not being sold on Sublime Epiphany. I hate it. I hate it. I love the card so much. I think it's probably better as two Lilianas. Like, it just seems better. Maybe we take all the Solemns out and just play three Atris, and then we can take one Croxa out for another, for like a Bone Crusher. A bind crusher. Two of those guys. Take out the solemns, add another atris. Or we can just play one solemn. Because this guy, they guys get a legend. He's legendary. I guess I think that's fine. Mm -hmm. You can do. Don't know if you care or not, but you did play the deck. Uh, I took Soren Slivers to Modern Monday Nights last night. Hope you're staying safe, buddy. Went 2 2, but did get turn 4th, turn 3 kills with it. It was hilarious to kill Storm and Tron before. That sounds pretty sweet, actually. 
I'm gonna keep this. We have two temples, which is more than enough to find some action. Plus five lands, that's all I'd ever wanted. Mm, six land is not what I want on turn two. Give me a tryst to build a dream on, on my imagination. Grim Tutor is legal and modern now, which is much better card than Gate. That oh, that actually is true. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, and we put two lands on the bottom. Eight. <laughs> Eight lands. Out of 11 cards. That's pretty wild. Wow. Never mind. Nine, nine lands. Oh, good grief. Nine lands out of 12 cards. They're repping the blue-black pretty hard here. More counter spells, you say. So long, Liliana. I'm sure Extinction Event is going to be a blank. Spending th our third turn of honor to tutor a card and lose their life. Yeah, it is, but if you're playing um, Call the Gatewatch anyway, then it doesn't really matter. I mean, it, it, it's not like it doesn't matter, but, um, like you're doing it already, you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> this is interesting. Oof, Bone Crusher Brazen Bar. This is all just an Always That was a fucking lands, dude. I don't think we play the other Atras here. Cards are great, but like I'd rather let them kill this one first. Can you hit a Croxa? Because that'd be super cool. Instead, they've hit literally all gas. One, two, three, four, five, six spells. Okay, so we're just killing your Jace, presumably. Yeah, don't care about that. Oh, Thought Racer is great here. Maybe we're not, though. They're probably just going to kill it, right? Yep. Spoke too soon like a dummy. Okay, don't care about either of these, really. Teferi is annoying. Don't care about that. Okay, so there's blue-black control. A-S-A -A Popples. <laughs> oh, good times. Well, definitely taking this. Cool. Don't care. Doesn't really matter if I have one lands or two. The chance to actually have hit those lands is... In the Battle of Control decks, the one who draws 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 lands and scries 2 to the bottom. Watch, we're going to hit on the land because we just milled two spells. Cool. Yep, alright. I think we got to go to the next game here. We just can't. We have a, a deck full of cards that are just not effective against mono planeswalkers and removal dot deck. Extinction event. Heartless act. Even Brazen Bar was not that great. 
Mystical Dispute, Duress, probably negates. Good, 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 good. Yeah, this seems fine. This seems much better. We'll see. Oh, Odysseus, what up, buddy? Thanks so much for the resub. Welcome back, my dude. Yes, Michael is sleeping. Two swamps. Yeah, okay. I'd love to wake Mike B up with a kiss. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Give me a mic B to build a dream on. Kind of time to just run this guy out there. But then they just kill it, right? Because they gotta they gotta have a handful of Wow. Deed to extinction. Peer into the abyss. Oh boy. Okay. This is where we draw all all reactive cards and have no way to capitalize on it. Okay. That was something Uh yeah, definitely keeping this beauty. Island, Pier, Actualize, Teferi's Ageless Insight. I like this deck a lot. This deck is sweet, dude. Destroy a creature or planeswalker. I don't care about this. This is problematic, but not yet. Let's take Dispute.
Oh, they're definitely going to neutralize this, which is fine. That's... Interesting. I mean... What does Teferi do? Will they play Teferi next turn? Like, if they tap out, we get Ashiok or Nicol Bolas, which is pretty, pretty banging. Yeah, that's fine. Well, not Nicol Bolas, I guess. Lucky, 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 lucky. Must be nice. One of your two cards is a fucking mystical dispute. It's too many islands. I think we should have cut down on the islands, especially with Croxa and Nicol Bolas in the deck, so... Wait, they cast the Neutralize? That's fascinating. See if you got it. Always fucking have it. Amazing. Congratulations. Was that three mystical disputes you've drawn and two naturalizes? Yep, that's amazing. He says naturalize instead of neutralize. Let's so have one card in your hand. Good game. What does that mean? Sure. It means he's a prick. <laughs> that is what it means. Pretty good. I mean, Teferi with Teferi's Angel's Insight is pretty sweet.
cool. I think we have a lot of swamps and less islands. So I feel like there shouldn't be that many situations where we're drawing like three islands, but it's literally we drew every island. Cool. Um, yeah, that's something. <sighs> Man, Tefri's Age of Sunset is great. Is Croxa not good in the deck? That doesn't make sense, right? Crocs has got to be pretty decent. I and mean, we're just not playing against decks that are good with Extinction Event, right? Like, we play against mono blue, mono counter spells, and blue black control. I feel like that's not really the preferred demographic of, of what we want to be playing against. Oh, uh, that's a keeper. That's a snapperino. What is this nonsense? Aether Gust is a blank. Shock is basically a blank. I kind of just want to take Visionary here because I don't care about Luka. Luka? Uh, we have four lands. That's plenty for now. Oh, actually, Aether Gust hits Nicopolis. Um, yeah, I'll keep that guy on top. What a waste of a scry land. Unbelievable. Nice. Do that. Okay, so this is going to be black, 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 red, blue. Yeah, that's good. to attackers oh man and they got the Aether Gust too that's sad <gasps> oh that's great oh that was what we wanted Oh man, that could not have worked out better. Okay. So, I mean, either Gust seems like MVP against them. Collection of Extinction Event we can take out, bring in either Gust. Yeah, we didn't see much.
I'll keep it because we have Temple, and it could get our Thief of Sanity online. Well, now it definitely can. Any land we're just leaving on top. Ashiok, you cost five. Oh yeah, that's the juice. The juice is loose. War boss, war boss, everywhere. No, uh, kind of wants you just to get rid of the war boss. Yeah. Okay. War boss, war boss, it's a hell of a town. Kill that dude when no one's around. War boss, war boss. Got him. I hope we don't have a third one. Can you imagine? I can't. Oh, I wonder if they took out shocks because they didn't see Thief of Sanities. That would be sweet. Because they're like, well, I probably don't have any good targets for these. And then I'm like, Thief of Sanity. Let's get in there. Let's be bopping. Oh no, do you do you have Bone Crusher Giant? Oh, that's that's good. That's Yep, yeah, that's pretty good. So yikes for me, dog. Welp. See you later. Thank you. Oh, Madash, welcome back, my dude. Really appreciate that. Oh, for fuck's sake. Of course I can't hit fifth land to kill this. I just have to deal with it, I guess. It's annoying as hell. Instant or sorcery? Cool. Yep, I'm just gonna concede to fucking Niv Mizzet because we can't draw land. Seems good. Deck feels sweet against them, I just don't know. How we fare without lands. I mean, the answer is poorly. <laughs> Fucking god, mono temples dot deck. I do not have the luxury of shipping that, though, unfortunately. Okay, that will definitely keep. So next turn we can go Thought Erasure, S Temple, then next turn we can go Steam Vents, Thought Erasure, Croxa. War Boss, War Boss. Whirlwind Denial. You have two lands? Yeah, let's get rid of War Boss. Unfortunately, you are a little too pricey right now. Mm, yeah, I mean, we need lands. Sure. Should be fine. Pay two life. Croxa. We can see what they get rid of. Sure. And we can thought erase or something else. So they got a five next turn. They have no lands in hand. And they have a mountain, so they can't actually cast Euro. Oh, 
Oh, this is a Tefri Master of Time? Oh, that's really annoying. <sighs> Their whole hand is really frustrating. Yeah, we'll keep that on the top, I guess. God, next turn we could do anything, so we just have to sit here. Yep. Actually, maybe we want Fabled Passage? I don't even like Fabled Passage. I think we're losing this game. That sucks. Well, we're not running more six drops. We replaced Sublime Epiphany with Liliana. Same number of six drops. Uh, no, because Croxa is the fifth card in the library in the graveyard. There's four cards including Croxa. We don't just get a. You gotta. You can't just. You gotta include Croxa. Oh, good. The preemptive good game. Always a pleasure. Dude, it's so frustrating for people like preemptive GG. Like, I want to put Solemn instead of Extinction Event. Like, it just doesn't seem good right now for some reason. We haven't drawn any Bone Crushers, which I might want better than Brazen Borrower. I don't even have... Actually, if we're playing Solemn again, I'm going to cut one Atris for a third Solemn because Atris is legendary. And it's just nice to go from four to six. Like, I think that's relevant in this deck. You know what? Sure. <laughs> uh, we have you, so we'll play Steam Vance turns on Vantress Island or Swamp. Let's just cast this. Fascinating. Chain of creature when you turn to the battlefield. It's interesting. So next turn you get to go land. Kaya's Ghostfire Village Rites. I'm just taking Village Rites. And, yeah, I'll leave that on top. That seems fine. Oh, man, Phil, I'm glad you're enjoying the office, buddy. Hmm, 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 hmm. It's a hell of a town. I mean, they get them back, but that's fine. We don't take damage. They've wasted their turn. And we still have Heartless Act in hand, so... That's really all I can ask for. What does this guy become? A 4-5? Eh, that's pretty good. That, didn't, that doesn't have Death Touch. I think we're just dropping this dude. Playing Crypt. And trying to Nickel Bolas next turn. Lure 
Paris. Interesting. Nicobolus kill this, we lose Nicobolus. If we plus, get the block here, take 3-4, it's still not great. It's really annoying, but we kind of have to get rid of that dude. Deal. Interesting. Oh, you're casting this guy with Luris. That's pretty sweet. Return that card from the battle. Return that card to the battlefield. This deck is sweet. attacks. Yeah, I'd rather just trade this guy than lose a Nikki B here. Deal. One, two. Alright, so they can kill Ugin and put Nicobolus to three, which is not terrible. Never mind. And Liliana's rough because if they sacrifice this, they just get a 5-5. Five, five. Oh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oh. One, two, three, five, six. Never mind. That was okay. I mean, that's as good a draw as their uh, murderous rider, so. Cry of the Carnarium seems good. Brazen Barber seems great. Murder Shrider is a little bit slow.
Gotta ship this. Can't have two six drops, two five drops. And that's worse. Okay. We will put Swamp and Island back. I mean, this is as good a hand as we're going to get, I guess. Especially on the draw. <clears throat> <laughs> and they mulliganed as well. That's pretty sweet. Nice. Mm -hmm. I mean, all things considered, this is not terrible. They could sack both of these to get rid of Thief sanity. Mad juice. This deck is sweet. I really like what they're playing. one land they don't know about but it also lets us find something that's not not big game enough I do not feel like attacking is the correct play here So Sack Scorpion and other Priest. Yeah, that's pretty good. Wow, when you lose Cauldron Familiar, you're just forced to play Serrated Scorpions instead. And that's just terrible. Oh, for fuck's sake, come on. Cool, I draw a fucking land. Amazing. Nice duress. I mean, of course, again, we draw no Bone Crushers, uh, no Heartless Axe, no Cry of the Carnarium, no Masquerade. Like, we just draw nothing that actually kills the creatures that are on the board. And then you just have to be like, well, I hope that's just a fluke because we have, like, ten removal spells. You know what? I'll keep it. Murder Shroud might be better than Croxa. Oh, let's get... Pay two life. Thought Erasure. Village Rights is good. Don't care about Gutter Bones. You can play Rights and Gutter Bones next turn. Um, yeah, actually, we'll keep it on top. They're going to get rid of one of these two, presumably. Oh, wow. Interesting. So, black, 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 red, blue. Sure. annoying Huh. 
<laughs> it's a decent split. I think Priest of the Forgotten Gods is one of the best cards in the format right now. This card just actually wrecks me regularly. Yep. See you later, Nicobolus. Never get to cast you, because they always have a duress for it at the exact time they need it. It's impressive, really. Is it instant? Well, they still have the discard card, so. They might sack Meyer Triton, sure. Let's play Watery Grave. Keep up Brazen Bar next time we get to play Nicol Bolas, unless they dump Deck of Duress. Jesus, Jesus. Just incredible, dude. Just incredible. Sure. It's very good. Yeah, of course it's a land. Of course it's a land. Why wouldn't it be a land? I mean, this guy could be hard to deal with. They had to discard the priest. Oh, but they can cast it with Luris. <laughs> Holy shit, these top decks are incredible, dude. That's amazing. Here, now let me draw land. Oh, an Ashiok. That'll do. That'll do. That's fucking incredible, dude. One land on tap, sure. It's it's incredible. See, that's funny. Oh boy. That is funny. So they have nothing they can really lure us with, right? seems decent. It's fine. They can go Forgotten Sack 2, but like we still got a guy. The 
Dark just has so much velocity, man. They're just doing so many things. So I can play one of these? Sure. This is actually terrible. Like, it's funny, it's fucking hilarious. We've played three decks where board sweepers are not great, and then we play the one deck where I'd kill for a board sweep and we can't draw one to save our lives. So, you know, that's cool. This doesn't even do anything. But it lets us scry, and now I don't have to draw that, so I guess that's something. Getting Brazen Bar out here because they can't block, so. It's wild. Fucking G. Are you kidding? Are you kidding me? That's insane. I have no incentive not to play this, so... I guess the incentive is, like, if they draw to rest. 35 cards to 40 cards. No attacks. We're just gonna... Try to keep building Ashiok. They don't have a great... If they attack before they sack, then I get to I get a free block and they don't get to actually do it. Sure. Oh, we're at zero. Cool. I like people in chat who say good game too. I don't really understand that, I guess. It's just a weird thing to do. Yeah, unfortunately Grixis does not seem to be there right now. Like, every other deck has, like, some fucking big-ass engine, like Luka or, you know, Nissa or... I don't know. Um, that, what we just played against. So it's really hard to just play, like, really solid creatures or planeswalkers that just... I mean, they sit there and they, they net you card advantage, but, like, you know, we just played against, like, <laughs> decks that are going through four cards a turn or decks that are playing Teferi's Teferi Time Raveler into Teferi's whatever that card is Lost Insight or whatever the fuck it is um, but you know we also drew zero Bone Crushers we could not draw a Cry of the Carnarium to save our lives so you know it's not like we actually <laughs> drew cards uh, three mana Teferi is banned four mana Teferi is not did I say Time Raveler? Time Master of Time? Whatever the hell it's called. I mean, you, whatever. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash frankfloormanagers.com. Coolstuffinc.com. And um, I'll see you next time.